no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net in this episode of Moment of Clarity, I'll explain how and why you're a slave. And how and why the people enslaving you don't care whether it destroys America or whichever country they're operating in. But it will take five points to get there, and you have to pay attention for the next three whole minutes. Now, I know you're like, three minutes? What is this, fucking Guantanamo? But you can do it. You can do it. So stop picking that scab for just a second and pay attention. No. Really, stop picking the scab. I'll wait until you... Okay. Point one. The U.S., along with some of our friends, uses debt to enslave developing countries. The whole slave ship thing a while back didn't look very good from a PR standpoint, and besides, the cost of the chains and whips was getting downright appalling. So nowadays, we use debt. We go into a country, we say, Hello, good friend, wouldn't you like a modern country with clean water and roads and high-speed internet? You have no idea what kittens are doing these days. They're playing fucking ukuleles and you're missing it. And we'll build all of that stuff for you. You'll just owe us half your country's yearly income from now until eternity, thereby keeping you poor and subservient. At that point, either the leader says yes, or we bribe them, or we kill them. We've been doing this for a long time. Read Confessions of an Economic Hitman if you want all the gory, pus covered details. Point two. The ass-holier-than-thou power elite in this country saw the success of this process and have now done the same to the American people by way of college tuition and sometimes mortgages. Tuition has gone up 600% since 1980. So it's basically like, hello, good friend, wouldn't you like to have your brain all filled up with useless knowledge and then have a shiny diploma you can stick on the wall and you'll get a good job and lots of money? We can do that for you. You'll just have to pay us half your income for the next 20 or 30 years, thereby tying you mercilessly to a career you'll find out you hate and you'll spend your days thinking of ways to teabag your boss's morning glass of orange juice. Point three. This debt enslavement guarantees people won't stand up or fight back or protest or call bullshit because their debt is weighing down on them like trying to give Philip Seymour Hoffman a fucking piggyback ride while he's eight months pregnant. Well, I mean, he's not pregnant in this hypothetical because that's impossible, all right? But his wife is pregnant and he's gained the sympathy weight, so the effect is the same. Point four. Public schools and many colleges are currently being gutted by budget cuts, thereby creating an even dumber population. And you thought the country that brought you truck nuts couldn't get any dumber, but you were wrong. So the question is, why would the top leaders and owners of this country want a truly dumb as gravel citizenry if they want us to keep being a dominant nation, to keep winning in terms of technological and military achievements? You would think dumbing us down too much makes us easily defeatable, if you think in terms of a monkey brain basic desires Vin Diesel kind of way. So why would they want that? Well, that brings us to the final point. This is not the 1950s anymore, a time when the tops of each country wanted dominance over other countries, a time when we created things like the GI Bill to make sure families got educated and continued to advance our society. Because of globalization and the rise of massive corporations, the rich and powerful, Wall Street and the government, don't view other countries as their competition anymore. They view other corporations as their competition and don't give a flying fuck about America, the country. Say it with me. They don't give a flying fuck about America. And BP, for instance, doesn't give a flying fuck about Great Britain. BP cares about BP. Goldman Sachs cares about Goldman Sachs. So the people running the show don't give a flying shit. I'm not sure why everything is flying right now, but if they ever invent flying shits, I'm buying the first ticket aboard one. Oh, that's right, they already did. Delta. So the people running the show don't give a flying shit whether the average people are less bright than Paula Abdul high on her own hairspray fumes. 
If America collapses, the corporate heads will just move their base of operation to whichever tax haven island they're already fucking using. Dumb, indebted people are perfect for them. It's perfect for business. Smart people with no metaphorical chains holding them back would not stand for this cockheaded bullshit nanigans. So the real problem is metaphors. We need a war on metaphors. If we could just find a way to shoot metaphors through the head, then we would have this problem solved. So you see, dumb and indebted is the goal. If you're not one of those two things, you have no excuse. Please grab an oar and start paddling, because we need your help to lead the way out of this swirling toilet drain. And if you are either dumb or indebted, then you should be the most pissed off of anyone. Okay. You can go back to picking the scab now. That's your Moment of Clarity from LeeCamp.net. If you'd like to play the audio version of Moment of Clarity on your radio show or podcast or the clean, censored version, you can do it for free. Just email me at LeeCampMail, M-A-I-L, at gmail.com. Thanks. Keep fighting. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.